Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So we are finally back here on UMRV and uh, we're going to be doing some planting. Uh, I have finished the tillage. I did have a video of that, but um, I just deleted it. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, didn't really miss much of anything in it, so it makes no big. It's no big deal to uh, just forget about it. But uh, yeah, so I did finish up the tillage. Um, if we jump back over here to the farm. We have some changes here, so I got the disc put away, um, and then I, pretty sure I showed this, but I don't remember, um, the John Deere 500 grain cart and the K1660 combine had issues, so instead we are running a 2388 case combine, and then the, uh, Brent V800 grain cart, um, with cleated tires, I think is what it is. I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, we got that. Uh, we got the 7600 here, which can come off of this, and we're gonna throw this over onto the plant. Uh, the not planter, the sprayer. So that way, that is ready to go. Um, yeah, so I basically cultivated slash plowed the fields that are going to be planted with that planter there. Uh, so basically the fields that are going to be planted in sunflowers, uh, which there was only a few of those, so, um, those were no big deal. And while that fills, I want to put the green card away as well. Kind of a mixed up beginning to this video, but... <coughs> so now I must not have gotten a sunflower header because I'm not seeing one. I don't remember now. Uh, let's take a peek here. Did I buy a sunflower header? Nope, I did not. So... Gonna have to do that yet, at uh, some point or another. But well, we don't have to worry about it quite yet, I guess. Well, we could just go ahead and buy it right now, technically. But so I think uh, we'll probably run the 7600 on this grain cart in the fall. Um, I know it's a probably a little on the low end for horsepower for this, but. Um, I don't really want to have to put the big 84 on it. I think that's just going to be a little too big for it. So, I don't know. We'll find out once uh, harvest rolls around. We'll figure that out then. Alright, so that guy is ready to rock and roll later on. Now we can get back to putting in oats because we are putting oats in fields 9 13 16 and 17 so i'm going to do the oats first and then i'll plant the rye because the rye the last field of that is next to the uh other farm so i want to um, do that last since you know we'll be close to the farm and whatever so yeah, um, I'm going to be recording a lot of videos, so, <coughs> um, after a few videos I may not talk quite as much, you know, I may kind of get to be kind of boring in a way, but, uh, it's kind of what I got to do to be able to get videos done for this coming week, uh, I just want to get at least a week ahead and then after work I can kind of record a video or two every day and just slowly work on them that way there. So, 
So come harvest, we'll most likely be combining, and then we'll put like course play. Uh, we'll have course play set up to run like the grain cart and uh, run the trucks for the most part. Uh, with the trucks, what I'll have to do is just set like a waypoint um, near the grain bins, and then um, you know the trucks will stop at that waypoint, and then from there I will do the rest since course play probably will not unload the trucks into the grain auger you know we can't really use course play with the auger very well so but that's okay with me i enjoy running the grain auger so if i have to run it no big deal <coughs> i do have a little bit of a sore throat so um that's kind of why I cough every once in a while. Not sure I'm not helping myself any by doing all this talking, but I don't really care, I guess. So this field nine is actually pretty decent sized. Uh, let's see if we can't let's see. I don't think that we figured out. The sizes for things have we yeah oh that's right I did that on uh, different save game so that's field nine there let's just take a look at how big it is uh, 8.23 hectares it's definitely not our largest field but it is pretty decent sized And it has quite the uh, shape variation in it, so that always kind of helps. Rather than just being a big old square field. yeah there's been quite a few mods that have come out uh, recently well since I played last uh, a lot of them we won't be using on this map at least not well we might but just not anytime soon um, one neat thing is this uh, our this Rostel, Ro Rostel smash KSU1 uh, it's a swather and a header and with this, it actually swaths like wheat and barley and stuff. And then in headers, um, there is this um, pickup header, and that'll pick it up. I do also have, um, where is it? Should be by the other Macdon stuff. Oh, I didn't activate it, but I do have the Macdon Swathmaster. That was in 15 that somebody converted. Uh, except that it's scripted like a normal, like a draper or something. Like it actually combines grow, like standing crop. It won't pick up the windrows. But um, I know I did see that BC Bueller uh, has been working on a script for swathing and picking up the swaths of grain or of crop, I guess. And, uh, I know there's been, like, on his video he said it wasn't going to be released, but then in comments, uh, on a post of his, he said, poss you know, he's trying to do certain things for it to be released. And then, I was talking with Sirius Mods, he's actually testing some of that stuff and working with BC Bueller on it, uh, he told me, and he said that, He's pretty sure that BC Bueller is planning to release it, so 
Not sure if it'll be released or not, but uh, it'll definitely be very, very nice to have. Uh, make, you know, add much more realism to the game. Uh, I know he had, he was swathing oats in his video. Uh, whether or not it works with like canola and that kind of stuff, I don't know. Uh, he hasn't put out a video yet of him combining it with the pickup header. So I'm kind of kind of waiting on that. Kind of anxious to see that video. <coughs> but uh, yeah. So there isn't any seed at any of the farms um, on this map, but. We do have the placeable back at our farm, so when we have to refill seed, we have to go all the way back to the farm to do it, which kind of does stink, but it's not too big of a deal, I guess. So we got this little chunk of field here. That'll definitely be interesting to get into with the uh, Draper. As it is a 35 foot Draper. It is, I guess it's, mm, let's see here. Because the drill here is 9 meters and that is 10 and a half. So it's about a meter and a half wider. So it'll probably be like one pass in here. And then combine the area and then just be driving out with the header up. <coughs> so I don't know, did the... Yeah, I did actually include that. Or include this in it, in the uh, field edge path. That's kind of neat. Wasn't sure if it would, but I guess since they are connected up here at the top, uh, it kind of makes sense that they would be. Now we're just going to whip around and plant this little area versus, you know, just planting our way out and then coming back and doing this next time around. Yeah, they just plant this right now. So I see there is a chance of rain for today. Um, tomorrow is going to be cloudy. Uh, the day after will be rainy as well. So that will be kind of good for these uh, freshly planted seeds. Get a little moisture on them right away. Uh, one thing that I did download... Um, I gotta remember where it's at. Is it in MISC? Yeah. So it's this. Um, a lot of you might, might remember it. Uh, the phrase, 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 whatever, from 15, uh, that you could use to, like, blow silage into trailers from your bunker and stuff. Uh, this one has been edited to blow snow, apparently. Um... I haven't tested it yet. I have talked to a couple other people that have, and they say it does kind of work. Um, but it, the one guy I talked to, he said it, uh, <coughs> it didn't quite grab all of the snow. Uh, it seemed like some of the nodes had to be moved down a little bit. But uh, it'd be definitely kind of neat. I need to check that out and see how well it works. Maybe. Uh, make some adjustments to it to fix those things that he was talking about and then uh, look into maybe modeling a snowblower and uh, using that uh, for the base of it and have an actual snowblower in the game that'd be pretty cool uh, I think anyways 
sure a lot of other people would think so as well, but I would love to have a snow blower, that's for sure. It'd be kind of nice if the uh, skid steer snow blower that uh, I think it was Replay Gaming that made that in 15. Uh, it'd be kind of neat if the one that he made was to be converted over but I don't know I guess I could look into that when I look into uh, this snowblower to see how it works and look into maybe uh, bringing over <coughs> that one I don't know I'll have to look at it sometime Seal's definitely going to take a while to plant, as are some of these others. But, it'll be worth it in the end, I guess. Puffing and yawning, I guess. <coughs> Yeah, I will have uh, more videos out this week as well on my uh, new map that I've been working on. Um, I did hear back from Ryan from How Farms Work. Um, he gave me the okay to use. Um, pretty sure that their last name is pronounced Custer. 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 I don't remember now. I'm probably totally butchering that, but I know I remember hearing in a video, um, I remember I think Travis did a video, and I think it was like labeled, uh, maybe it was like Kister, maybe that's what it is, anyway, he gave me the okay to use their last name for the name in the map, and the okay to uh, build their farm. And he said he'd be more than happy to get me measurements, so um, he did give me the measurements of their machine shed uh, so far, but I haven't started making anything. I really haven't even, I haven't touched the map since not long after I recorded the last video of it. Um, today is about the first time that I've had my computer on and, well... I had it on uh, last week to fill out some information for uh, my new job and that was about it and then other than that I haven't even had this thing on so haven't uh, touched much of anything but uh, hoping to get back into it now. And hopefully stay active um, but of course life usually gets in the way of that so so we're actually not doing too bad uh, on this field we have going on our second headland and we got two sections cut off and finished we're gonna be closing off that section here pretty soon so we are making pretty decent time it just doesn't really seem like it but we are just slowly but surely
on this little patch get this one finished up that's kind of the interesting thing about the fields on this map is you, know, you start doing one section and you kind of or you start doing the whole field and then it kind of goes in patches so to speak or sections as you kind of close others off and stuff. So I have been talking with uh, some people about this map um, and the bail situation on it and a buddy of mine he did some testing um, I want to do some testing, but I haven't yet uh, with bales, but uh, he said that he, you know, with version 2.1, he could TED better, um, and then <coughs> uh, he said that storing the bales um, in a shed, like he had to make sure that the shed had a snow mask in it otherwise it the bales would still disappear but he said he put his bales in a shed uh he actually like placed a placeable shed and put them in there i think or something like that and uh, he said they didn't didn't disappear uh, for him so i'm gonna have to go and uh do some testing with that and Maybe in the future we can look into getting into dairy again and maybe even possibly doing pigs. Uh, we could actually do pigs sooner because I don't think they require... Oh, uh, they do require straw, but that's about it, which straw doesn't go away as fast either. Uh, we could do sheep, but that's kind of a nuisance. And we'd still have to do hay or grass. So we can give them wheat or barley. And then we can give them canola, sunflowers or soybeans. And then potatoes or sugar beets. Corn, straw, and water. So pigs could be a possibility. But uh, we'll see what the future holds. I don't really plan on doing them anytime soon. But... We'll just have to see, I guess. See what, uh, kind of what happens. I'm missing a bunch of So we may have to look into getting like a seed tender or something. Um, or maybe we can use the a grain truck and the auger or something. I don't know. We might have to invest in a seed tender. Um, <coughs> so that we can we don't have to drive the tractor and drill back to our farm constantly uh, to refill seed because we won't even be able to plant all of this field without or before we have to refill seed so um, yeah we're definitely gonna need seed so we might have to look into it um, there are a few options here let's see not that um auger wagons let's see what do we got in here anything we've got the meridian but 
I don't know that I want to go quite that far. Uh, there is this. It's like a gravity wagon with an auger on it. There's this too. We could... This could be a possibility. And then we could use like the... Probably the case on that. Um, since the 7600 will be on planting duty as well. Just got a few more minutes here. You now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut off that section that we were just in there. Cut that off here. And then all we'll have left is kind of this big wide open section here. Uh, after we finish that one, that is. bigger drill would definitely be nice next year especially with you know if we add more fields in next year which we most likely will but we'll see even if we just keep what we've got um, adding a bigger bigger drill would be nice doesn't have to be like a seed hawk big but I'm thinking maybe like the John Deere 1990 CCS planter uh, by KMN Modding. Thinking probably that is what we'll most likely use or get for our next planter. We'll see. just about done with the video here so all right well guys that is pretty much gonna do it for today uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off this little area that we cut off here uh, I'll probably finish that off camera uh, just finish that little bit up and then um, tomorrow we will be Hopefully finishing this field, but we'll be working on that 
part of the field anyways. Uh, like I said, hopefully we can finish it, but definitely not going to count on that. But anyway, that is going to do it for today, guys. If, excuse me, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description. I got all kinds of stuff down there. Um, so make sure you go check that out. And as always, we will see you guys tomorrow.